Hey guys, Mr. Backward here. This is the second part of 8.4. We've got one objective. We're going to find determinants of square matrices. So if we're dealing with a square matrix of order two by two or greater, then what we can do in order to find the determinant of the matrix is we can grab any row or any column we want to and multiply those entries by their cofactors and then add those things together. So for example, if we were looking at the first row of a three by three matrix, we could grab each individual entry, so the A11 entry, the A12 entry, and the A13 entry. We're gonna multiply by its corresponding cofactor. So for A11, we would multiply it by C11. For A12, we'd use C12, A13, C13, so on and so forth. This is called expansion by cofactors, and we typically do this for matrices that are three by three or bigger. Because we've got other ways of finding determinants for smaller 2x2 two two matrices. So we're going to look at finding the determinant of this 3x3 three three square matrix by this cofactor expansion. So we're going to look at the first row of this matrix. And I've already got the cofactors listed out there, but I'm going to remind you how to find those things. In order to find the cofactors, we first have to find the minors. So if we're looking at the first row, first column, we're going to cross those things off and then do the determinant of what's left over. So negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. Minus 0, we get negative 1. And I'm just going to build this top row. If we cross off top row and second column, 3 times 1 is 3. Minus 8, we get negative 5. And then if we move over to our third column, 3 times 0 is 0. Minus negative 4, we get a positive 4. So that would be the top row of the minor matrix. But then remember, we have to check that cofactor sign chart to see which signs stay the same and which ones change. And the cofactor sign chart for the top row of a 3x3 three three matrix goes 1, negative 1, 1. So the negative 1 stays the same. The negative 5 gets a sign change on it. And the 4 is going to stay the same. So that's where I got these three cofactors from. So now what we're going to do in order to find the determinant of this matrix A is we're going to take each entry times its cofactor. So in the A11 spot, we've got 0. And we're going to multiply that by our negative 1 cofactor. Plus, in the A12 spot, we've got 2, and the cofactor there is 5. And in the last entry there, we've got 1, and the cofactor we got there was 4. So now multiplying and adding, well, 0 times negative 1 is 0, plus 10, plus 4. We get 14 as the determinant of this matrix. Now a couple of hints, it really doesn't matter which row or column we use to do this cofactor expansion, we're going to get the same exact answer. So typically what we want to do is pick the row or column that has the most zeros in it because that's going to make things really, really easy for us. Just to show you that we're going to get the same answer either way, I'm going to do that same exact example, but this time I'm going to use the second column. So we're going to cross that thing off. We're going to start finding the cofactors, but in order to do that, we have to find the minors. So crossing off that middle column, let's cross off the top row and do the determinant. So 3 times 1 is 3, minus 8, we get negative 5. If we go middle column and if we cross off the middle row, 0 times 1 is 0, minus 4, we get negative 4. And then if we cross off the bottom row, 0 times 2 is 0, minus 3, we get negative 3. Our sign chart for the second column goes negative 1, positive 1, negative 1. So the negative 1 turns this negative 5 into a positive 5. The 1 keeps this negative 4 the same. And the negative 1 turns this negative 3 into a positive 3. So to figure out the determinant, we're going to take 2 times its 5 cofactor plus negative 1 times its negative 4 cofactor plus 0 times 3. So 2 times 5 is 10, plus 4 plus 0, we get 14 as our determinant, and that matches up with what we got before. That's going to be it for this video. Please remember to fill out the Google form linked in the description down below, and thanks for watching.